am I hope that you are doing okay today. I hope you're having a good morning, a good midday, a good afternoon, a good evening. I just hope that you're having a good day. Um, if we haven't met yet, my name is Ruby. I'm 17. I'm in my last year of college, which I'm so happy about. Like, I love college, but I also don't. It's just one of those things, isn't it? And um, two weeks ago, maybe like less than that, actually, I got a book out called Testimony. And it's available on Amazon. It's got a very colourful cover, so you, you will for sure not miss it. And um, it's just a book full of stories of how Jesus has changed people's lives. And it's stories from all around the world. And um, I've just absolutely loved gathering the stories together and just putting them in a book. Um, I've learned a lot um, and um, it's been a beautiful, beautiful time. And in the book, I um, talk about my story, my testimony of what I've walked through. And I just want to chat about it here because I think it's so important to voice and talk about. Um, but I basically um, began to struggle with an eating disorder back in 2020. And I had habits, a little bit of habits before lockdown, but as soon as lockdown hit, everything was heightened and was just constantly running, um, just not eating enough, um, became really obsessed with myself, constantly weighing myself, um, and just like, just became really sad and not myself at all and just super anxious around food and, um, was just had no confidence my confidence in myself and I would be I would constantly be thinking about my next meal what I'll have when I'll have it how much I'll have of something it was just like so all-consuming and um it was really really tough um and there were there were days where I'd be on a run and just crying just like just feeling so lonely and just not knowing what was happening really and I remember just like having a brownie and I remember just crying my eyes out because of having a brownie and looking back it just makes me so sad because the joy was stolen from me the joy was stolen from just having food like food is such a joyful thing you get to eat with people and that joy was totally stolen from me and and I was totally off the enemy, totally off the enemy. And I just remember just feeling so sad. And there came a there came a point where I was like so done with the thoughts. Like for for ages, I just thought it was a normal voice, like I thought everyone struggled with it. Like everything I was looking at on Instagram was all about diet culture and people with food and wanting to lose weight. And I was like, do you know what? I think this is normal but there was one morning where I was like done like done with the thoughts like done with it all like I couldn't do it anymore and um I remember just walking out of my room and I just like I need to tell someone I need to tell someone and my amazing mum she came up the stairs and I just remember running up to her and being like mum I'm really struggling I'm really struggling with eating and I'm really struggling with exercising and I just like sobbed in her arms and she held me and she prayed for me. And it was just such a moment I'll never forget because it was a moment of saying, do you know what, enemy no more. And Jesus, can you come in? Please, may you help me. I need you. I need your strength for this next season. And you know, from that moment with my mum, I began, it actually got harder because there were so many habits in the way that I spoke to myself that I had to undo and change. And that was really, really hard. Um, but I remember just being like, right, if I want this, if I want things to change, it's up to me. And so that's what I did. I just began just speaking to myself more kindly and um, be careful, was watching who I was um, following on Instagram and just being wary of that and you know break t I took out running for six months because running became a punishment for me it was a way of burning calories and um, that just wasn't helpful in any way if I wanted to get better so I took that out and you know I had a massive thing with carbs um I really um did not like carbs was so scared of them I got anxious around them every time I had them 
I got anxious around sweets and chocolate. Like I would just say to no to all of that. And if I ever went out for lunch, I'd always have like a wrap instead of a sandwich. Even though if I'd really want a sandwich, I would still have a wrap. And it was just like extremely healthy. So it was just like unwiring all of that. And um, it was really tough. But do you know what? I'm looking back and it's honestly a battle worth fighting. I've come out the other side. I've never felt more beautiful. I've never felt more authentic to myself. I've never felt more joyful. I've never felt more like just myself. Um, and it's only because of Jesus. It's only because of him and, um, and him just bringing people into my life at the right time to speak into my life. Like my mum in that moment, you know, Jesus is just so kind like that. And, um, I've just so super grateful from the bottom of my heart and um i just it's a, it's a journey it's, it's a journey 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 for sure but jesus has been there every moment um in the moments where i felt so anxious at the dinner table when my shoulders were up and in the moments when i would weigh myself and feel so disappointed like he was there and you know the number on the scale is not me it's not me and I don't weigh myself anymore because it's just not helpful. And um, yeah, I just, he's the greatest friend and I cannot imagine doing my teenage years without him. And um, yeah, forever grateful that he's pulled me out of it. And I, and I pray that my story um, brings other people to talk about eating disorders um, because eating, eating disorders are not talked about enough in church in schools like it needs to be talked about more um so i pray that this is just just like a little bit of a catalyst of saying like do you know what like i get it you're not alone it's gonna be all right like you're seen and you're loved and you're beautiful and you're enough like i've got all those declarations on my mirror and i try to speak them speak over them, speak them over myself every morning and it's not always easy but it's oh my goodness oh my goodness it's worth it um so just just know that everything's gonna be all right. You're so loved. And um, just speak to yourself kindly. Let people in. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye.